Hello, everybody, and welcome to lesson 1.5. We are using problem solving plans to get through some of our algebra problems here. So here are some of the vocabulary and blanks to fill in. Um, feel free to pause and write those down as I explain. Basically, we're going to be using formulas. Um, those are equations that relates two or more quantities. I'll provide you with some of those. Um, we are going to use this following problem solving plan. Uh, step one, read and understand. I have a few things highlighted. Um, I would recommend getting highlighters and such to help you through problems um, because you want to know what you want to know in the problem and what you want to find out. That's usually a variable. Okay, uh, make a plan, solve, and look back, and that is the idea. So again, pause, write those down, and we'll jump into our first example. Um, example one, read the problem, make a plan. So, $7 to buy orange juice and bagels at the store. Container of juice costs $125, bagel costs $75. If you buy two containers of juice, how many bagels can you buy? So, the first step, again, is to read and understand. So, read and understand. And we just did that. What do you know? What we know, so let's highlight that stuff. We know that juice costs $125. We know we have $7. We know a bagel is $0.75 cents, um, and so forth. So we know how much money you have in the price of a bagel and a container of juice. What do we want to find out? What we want to find out is how many bagels can we buy? So I highlighted that in blue, how many bagels, and that's usually going to be our variable. Um, so as we devise a plan, that's what we are going to figure out. Um, step two. So we are now going to start to devise a plan. So we're going to plan and use what we know to write a equation. That represents what you want to find out. Okay. And then write an equation. I guess we already did that and solve it. So let's, I know we're going to be going back and forth here. Um, we're going to jump back and forth, but we'll figure it out. So solve the problem example one by carrying out the following. So they kind of devise the step here for us. Um, and this is going to be to solve our verbal model. So what we have is the price of juice in dollars. That is something we knew. Okay, that was in the red. Price of juice in dollars was one twenty-five. Um, the number of containers. How many containers of juice are we buying? Um, two. So that's another bit of information we know. So if we take one twenty-five times two, we're going to have to add that to our bagel in dollars, which was a few cents. 75 cents. Again, what we want to know is usually always our variable. So what you want to know is B. And cost in dollars, we know we have to get to 7. So that's where highlighting can be helpful. Um, as we then just decide to kind of simplify, 1.25 times 2 um, is 2.5. Um, plus 0.75b is equal to 7. And then we can use our solving skills. Um, this is saying to guess, but instead of guessing, um, we can actually just solve. So instead of guessing, let's just solve over here. Um, I'll do it over here because guessing can just get a little too cumbersome at times. So 0 0.75 times B equals 7. I know we haven't done a lot of solving just yet, but the idea is to get the B by itself. To do that, we're going to subtract 2.5 from each side. So 7 minus 2.5 is going to be 4.5. Everything else stays the same, 0.75b. 
come on. Then we divide by 0.75. So 4.5 divided by 0.75 gives us our solution, B is equal to 6. So 6 bagels are how many we can buy. Um, these are just some different methods. So guess and check is another method to try um, making a table and so forth. The end result is 6 bagels, however after we solve. Okay, so in the next one we are looking at twelve dollars decided by three containers of juice how many bagels can you buy? Let's lead through that one. So we still have we have twelve dollars this time. Um, juice is 125. We're buying three of them and bagels are still 0.75 and we don't know how many we can buy. So this again, a little bit of solving sneak peek. If you take 1.25 times three, we get 3.75. Then to solve, to get B by itself, first we're gonna subtract that 3.75. So 12 minus 3.75, which is 8.25, and then divide by 0.75. So this is a little way to do it for these types of problems. Divided by 0.75. So B is equal to 11 or 11 bagels can be bought. Okay, so that helps with your checkpoint. Um, last thing here is using formulas. Um, these formulas, again, keep in your notes. They're pretty easy to follow and just plugging in numbers. Um, F is, this is our temperature formula. It goes from Celsius to Fahrenheit and back and forth. So this converts to Celsius. So F is the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. Um, C is the temperature in degrees Celsius. Okay, interest, here's a good one. Um, I is also known as the interest. And we have the principal for P. That's also the starting amount. Um, we have the rate for R. Um, we call that the interest rate as a decimal. So something like 5% is 0 0.05. We'll see some of that. And T stands for time. Distance traveled, D equals R times T. D is distance equals rate times time and profit is income and expenses. Take some time, write that down and we'll go through some exercises with these. Okay, so for our checkpoint here, store where we bought the juice and bagels had an income of $7 from your purchase. The profit the store made from your purchase is $2.50. Find the store's expense. So when you see these keywords, profit and so forth, we are going to use the profit equation. So let's label the different things we have. So first off, we know we're plugging things in. So P is equal to I minus E. Okay. Um, what we know, we know the profit. So the income, first off, is seven. So that is seven for I. Um, we know the profit is 250. So that goes in for P. P 
And what we want to know is the expense. So that's going to stay as the variable. Um, once you know that, then you just have a little equation to solve. So if we actually just subtract 7, um, 2.50 minus 7, we get negative 4.5 is equal to negative E. And if then we divide by negative 1, we can see that 4.5 is equal to E, or the expenses was $4.50 are the expenses. Okay, definitely try out these practice problems. Um, those are in the homework, so 1.5, um, the odds. Um, 